Depression is a tough beast. It affects millions of people. We've developed lots of medication treatments and even therapy treatment. But despite this, about a third of people don't respond to these treatments and remain depressed. Today, I'm going to tell you about a relatively new development that's gaining some traction, and that is Botox injections. I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I make mental health education videos. Botox, or botulinum toxin, is a neurotoxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. A neurotoxin is a substance that interferes with the functions of the nerve cells. One of the ways it does this is by disrupting or blocking the communication between neurons. If neurons can't communicate with each other, they don't function properly. Botulinum toxin blocks the nerve cells from releasing acetylcholine, and this action paralyzes the muscles so that it can't move. You're probably familiar with Botox being used for cosmetic procedures to reduce facial wrinkles in the forehead and around the eyes and mouth. It's also used to treat migraine headaches. When it's used for migraines, you get injections in the forehead, scalp, neck, and shoulders. These treatments aren't new. Botox has been used for facial wrinkles since 2002 and for migraines since 2010. The paralyzing effects of these medications are temporary, lasting on average about three months. As time has progressed, there have been other conditions that Botox has helped, like overactive bladder and extreme sweating under your arms and the palms of your hands. As more people have used it, we've seen that many people also have had improvement in their depression symptoms. The theory behind this potential treatment is based on the facial feedback hypothesis. I talked about this in a video I did using the half smile technique to manage difficult emotions. Essentially, the idea is that facial expressions can affect your mood when your facial muscles send positive sensory feedback to your brain that changes your emotional experience. So in this case with Botox, relaxing your facial muscles with the toxin sends positive feedback in a way that improves your depression symptoms. That's one theory, but it's not the entire explanation. Some researchers have seen that the toxin increases serotonin and brain-derived neurotropic factor, which is a chemical that increases nerve regeneration. I have some article references in the description if you want to read more about it, but suffice it to say that there is strong enough evidence to show that injecting botulinum toxin into the muscles of the forehead and around the eyes has antidepressant effects. So how does this work in the real world outside of academic medicine and research? Although botulinum toxin is FDA approved for certain medical conditions, it's not approved for depression treatment yet. That means you'll have to see a specialist who keeps up with the research to do it and your insurance may not pay for it. The doctors who typically give these kinds of injections are neurologists, dermatologists, and plastic surgeons. So far, it looks like it takes several weeks to see results, similar to the antidepressants, and it's not clear how long the improvement lasts. So we don't have an established protocol on how many injections you should get. It will be trial and error, probably dictated by how you feel. There are a few adverse effects from it, things like sensitivity at the injection site, headache, flu-like symptoms, and probably the most distressing would be a mild eyelid drooping, which would be temporary. In rare instances, though, the FDA has noted that Botox might spread to other areas of your body. If that happened, you could get botulism poisoning, which is life-threatening. The symptoms of botulism poisoning include trouble swallowing, muscle weakness, or your muscles become easily tired, drooping of both eyelids, blurred vision or double vision, trouble breathing or speaking. You can see these signs within hours or weeks. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's crucial to reach out to your doctor right away or dial 911. By the way, botulism poisoning is what you can get from contaminated canned foods. You should be suspicious of this if you see a can that's leaking, dented, or bulging, or if you see foamy bubbles when you open the top. In any of these cases, it's best to throw the can away and not even taste the food. You only have to consume a small amount of botulinum toxin to experience the poisoning symptoms. 
what you get with the Botox injection is a purified form of the botulinum toxin. Maybe sometime in the future, this treatment will move from experimental to standard of care or will be easier to get, have it covered by your insurance, and we'll be able to know what to expect as far as how many injections you'll need. But despite these limitations, it's still promising. And if you are someone who has tried almost everything without good results, or have trouble tolerating the standard antidepressant treatments, you should consider consulting a doctor about Botox injections to treat your depression symptoms. Thanks for watching. See you next time.